Yeah, when we want to feel good, we say we raised it 100%. That <laughs> we raised the, the representation of women. Uh, but I, I would have liked to see more women in the list, to tell the truth. Yeah. But step by step. The way they reacted to her views, I think, included a lot of chauvinism and included a lot of uh, um, uh, acts that if she was not a woman, they would think twice before doing that. Anything can happen in Israeli politics. Uh, I've been in politics for many years. I, I know that this time it's going to be a different level. Uh, I was always a, a political activist among, among mainly my own people, but also I was active in, in many of organizations that included Jews and Arabs together. But all again, it's mostly the people who were very close to my opinions f among the Jews. So this time, um, uh, probably I will be exposed to the general public. I will be exposed to the even the racists among the uh, majority, uh, Jewish majority. Uh, of course, I, I think it's not going maybe to be easy, but uh, that's fine. I'm, uh, I think uh, that uh, part of the choice to be uh, an activist and to defend things is to be able also to uh, uh, stand up for any criticism or attacks. In the beginning of my life, I was marginalized and not accepted because of my opinions, because I stood up against many of the things, the patriarchal uh, laws in our society. To be now in the mainstream of our society, this is, gives us the power as a movement also to address new uh, 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 groups of people, to uh, uh, raise uh, the voice of rights of women uh, from the highest, uh, you know, uh, platform yeah. to the parliament and into our society. It would help to have more feminists if they are men or women. The establishment, uh, the government, and sometimes the uh, MKs from the um, uh, Jewish or uh, Zionist parties want to deal with our issues as Palestinian women from a very paternalist and, in my opinion, racist way. You know, this approach of the uh, white man who's coming to save us from the from our society and sometimes who is deciding what is good for us and what is not good for us uh, from this paternalist approach i believe although i'm a member of the communist party of israel i don't see that we are building now communism uh, uh, i think it still has time but we are trying our best to reach more and more social justice and to, uh, to use Marxism, to use our theory as a tool to understand and to analyze the situation. In their hearts, they understand the connection between the fact that they are part of the Palestinian people that is still living under occupation and the fact that the Israeli governments who are um, willing to continue the occupation against our own people, look at us as part of the enemy and look at us as, and they are calling us sometimes the fifth column. Uh, this is not a very positive way to deal with your citizens. In our villages and towns, uh, since 1948, not even one proper industrial zone was built since the beginning of the, uh, or since the establishment of Israel. 70% uh, of our villages and towns don't have a proper public transportation. How we can ask uh, people to be part of economy and to work without delivering this basic uh, 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 places of work and proper public transportation that yeah. connect them, especially when economy is concentrated in the center of the country.
part of the uh, demonstrations is solidarity with the, our own people, but it's also a very deep frustration sometimes that is um, uh, uh, even in the minimal civil rights, we are not getting what we are supposed to get. In any situation, after this election, we are in a better situation. First of all, by numbers of parliamentarians. Second, by the feeling that we are able to do something, that we are able to confront uh, racism, and we are able to get over our differences. And there are differences. We are not uh, saying that suddenly we are all the same. No, we still have differences among us. There are things that we don't agree on, but we, for the first time, decided to focus on what is common again, and what we have in common, and leave the other things that uh, we still need to deal uh, with for later. It's first of all the fact that we decided to have it as a joint list, having Jews also with us. This is a very important uh, issue for me as someone uh, who believed all her life in struggling together, Jews and Arab, for a better future. This is a, a, an important is, a, a declaration by our society, uh, saying we need to work together to change this situation, Jews and Arabs. Second, it's a very important message to our society that have a lot of internal conflicts. This is a way to tell our society also that we have different ways to deal with our internal conflicts now. We don't have to turn into violence. We don't have to turn into sectarian politics. But we can work together and we can have dialogue about the things that we do not agree on. Many of the Palestinians who did not vote in the past did not do that because they are boycotting ideologically the elections. There are some, but they are not the majority of the non-voters. Most of the non-voters are people who got disappointed by the system, who do not trust the fact that we are able to change something. What we are delivering here, I hope, that we are creating different tools in politics. And we are putting new rules for the politic game, political game. So I hope, and I can see, I can feel it. I'm, I'm going around in the, in the different villages and towns, and I see how people are accepting us and how people are saying, you know what, you made our lives easier. We had every time to try to choose between who, who to vote to. Now we know. I was telling my uh, friends uh, yesterday night, I was uh, in three universities in the last two days, uh, Haifa, Tel Aviv, and Tal Hai, which is like up, up in the north. And, um, and how the young women were waiting for me when I arrived, and how they hugged me. People who, you know, women I don't know uh, personally, they hugged, they wanted to speak to me. I felt that they are so proud. Uh, that warms my heart and that gives me a lot of strength, but that says also that those young women were looking for a model of success. That yes, we can do it. Uh, and the, the sky is the limit. Well, if Aida can do it, then probably we can do it. There is no way to speak about anything. Give me any issue that you have in your mind now that cannot be and is not connected to the fact that there is occupation, especially if you are part of the Palestinian national minority in Israel, in any aspect of life. There is no way. That doesn't mean that we don't care about the everyday life of our own people. At the contrary, because we care about the everyday life of our own people, we want to stop the occupation. Because we care about the everyday life of the whole Israelis and the Jewish Israelis, we don't want them to continue to be occupiers. 
because occupation <laughs> is ruining not only those who are occupied, it is ruining also the occupiers themselves. In an ideal world, we all would like to see a one-state, uh, secular, democratic uh, state. Is this what the kind of one state that is going to be established, de facto? No. There might be, until now, there is the main component of a one state, but it's an apartheid state, where majority of people are not giving their rights, and they are controlled by a state uh, that is not giving them their rights, even the most basic ones. So actually what we are trying to avoid is this scenario. And I think the best scenario uh, that is realistic is a two-state solution. For the Israeli public, they usually say, how can we do it with the settlements? What can we do with the settlements? Sorry, settlements are international crime. Building over the land of an occupied, building in an occupied land and changing the demographic situation of an occupied land is an international crime. When you come to solve a problem and to end occupation, you cannot use your crimes as part of the bargaining. These are crimes. You should be paying for them, not using them in order to raise your price in the bargaining. I believe there should be more cooperation with anybody who is willing to support the things that we believe in. If anybody from any party is willing to support any, um, any right of the rights of the Palestinian citizens of Israel, or willing to move on uh, to uh, peace and to stop the occupation, we should cooperate on that specifically. For sure, I know that Having Netanyahu is going to be um, a continuous catastrophe. Uh, having maybe Herzog, uh, and I'm not saying he is the best, but at least that's part of changing uh, Netanyahu. I wish we could have changed Netanyahu and we would run this country, but what to do? <laughs> We're still waiting for that. <clears throat> Let's hope at least that we are a beginning of building what is called the democratic camp in Israel. Even if we are not going to run this state, but at least we will be influential. We will be able to influence many things, and nobody can ignore us anymore.